Okay, I'm going to, as quick as I can, do a quick overview of the Montevue Go software and how to review footage and export footage. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Um, of course you have the live view, but we're not going to be doing live view today. I'm going to open it. But we got playback. Let me zoom in on this screen here since I'm going to be working on it. Pretty much the majority here. Um, we're going to go to playback. And you want to select your MVR and what cameras you want to see. So in my case, I'm going to do the front yard and the driveway. Um, down here on the left hand side you kind of want to just leave these alone uh, there's mainstream and substream you could do substream like if your computer is not that powerful or strong and you're trying to pull up like six cameras or lots of cameras at one time to play you might want to hit substream because it's going to do the mainstream and that's the highest quality um, if you have 4k cameras you're talking about a lot of graphics here but I'm gonna just hit mainstream but if you're doing trying to do that do substream uh, the date I'm gonna hit yesterday and then you can just hit search so now it's pulled up all everything so if you see over here I always leave it on all records we got general alarm motion detect intelligent car to court you're pretty much going to see mostly motion detection and intelligent intelligent would be like if you have lines like I have on that camera over there uh, somebody crosses that line or steps in one of your zones or whatever that's what intelligence is going to do and if you could see right here I can kind of already see some so on this camera right here See right here, it's orange. That means there was a person there or a vehicle. Uh, yellow's motion, and this would be for the front yard. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start right here. And it's me. I'm walking outside. And originally, if you remember, I hit the front yard and the driveway camera to see the recordings there. Uh, the driveway is not showing anything right now, so to get that one to show, because it is there, and if you hit it, you can see that the recording bar has completely changed as you switch cameras, whichever one you're selecting, it's going to show what recording it has. But what you can do is, while this is playing, there's another button down here on the left. This is the sync button. Hit sync, and it will pull all the cameras to the same time as this one that you're on. So now I have... You know, they're going together at once. And you see there was a, a motion event, and that's why it's orange right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that, and um, let me show you another way to find things, which is probably the, the best way, the easiest way. So I'm going to just go ahead and select this camera view. And what you want to do is down here on the bottom left, there's a magnifying glass with a little half square around it or whatever. It's called Smart Search. So when you hit Smart Search, a grid's going to come up. Within this grid, you can select an area. So I want to do, let's say, my driveway right here. So my whole driveway. And, you know, I guess a little bit higher. So this area right here is the zone I'm looking for. So whatever whatever you're looking for, wherever it happened, you can select the whole screen, whatever. It's kind of pointless to do the whole screen. This is probably the best way because it's going to weed out even further intelligent uh, things that senses motion that your camera's already uh, doing. That's what it's going to do, basically. It's going to 
narrow that field down even more. So I've made my square here and now down here you can select if you want to search for motion within that square or is it a human or is it a vehicle. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and hit human and then you hit smart search again. And this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I'd say maybe 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm going to pause this video while it's doing its thing. Okay, it's finished doing its thing. Um, you know it's done when the video goes away and it looks like this. Um, so, and as you can see, or you probably can't see, I'm going to zoom in here. There's some new lines here on the recording bar. And they're purple. Purple is not any of the colors over here. Because purple is this new zone that you searched for. When I hit play, boom. It shows there's people who walked into that zone. I only Remember, I only searched for human. Um, there's me. So basically, this thing is going to go through the entire day, one by one. And whenever a person stepped into that square, it's going to show you the recording of it. So if you're searching for something, this is very helpful. Um, you could speed it up a little bit here. And you know what you want to do is when you find whatever you're looking for, you can stop it and pretty much, you know, look at what time that is and then go back and watch the entire clip. Which this will allow you to do. You don't have to do anything special to start doing that. So let's see. Zoom this out. What time is it at? Okay, so let's just say I want to get this recording right here. And that's right here so okay now I found what I've look I'm looking for and I can pretty much just stop it real quick so now if I want to um, like export this video It's not letting me make that smaller. So if I want to export this video, so let's go over exporting. Over here on the bottom left, there's some scissors. So you hit time clip, and you see this little bar comes up here. Uh, if you're too far in, you won't see the end of it, because it goes for an hour by default. So here's the other side. I just want to drag those in together, zoom back in, and now I can kind of isolate down to the minute or second of whatever I want to record. Then I hit the scissors again, and I want to do MP4, this is the easiest to work with. Uh, path. There has a path that it already goes to, but if you have a certain folder you want to save all this in, you in mind or whatever, be my guest. Go ahead and put it there. Uh, all you're gonna do is hit OK. It's gonna tell you it's gotta stop the video. Hit OK again, and it's gonna start exporting the file. Now I already have that file path open. This is where it's gonna save. Um, if it fails. You could download it again, like this one just did. So I hit download again, and that generally will push it through. Now I have an MP4 file right here. Uh, I actually have to move it to this other computer because 
of some other reasons. So now I'm just going to copy it. You can see what I'm doing. I'm actually on another computer here. So I've made that file, I've saved it as an MP4 file, and now I should just be able to double click and open it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is every time you save a file, like no matter how many, you know, windows you have open or whatever. Like, so we got two cameras. When I hit save, I save this one camera only. So if I'm like, have three angles of something, you're gonna have to go to each camera, go to that time frame, hit the scissors and cut it out. Because it's gonna save, it's not gonna save like this as a four camera view. It's gonna individually save them. And um, that is pretty much it. Like. I hope that was pretty easy to understand. I know it was kind of a lot, but for the most part, find the cameras you want to find a recording of, uh, do a smart search, or however you want to do it, just play the video and save it. And that's all I have for um, this uh, episode of Want of you go. There will be more in the future. Uh, maybe some more in depth things and some settings that would be helpful, uh, such as this uh, at the top right. What I did is I hit the settings right there. Um, these settings are pretty good. These are some basic settings that everybody should probably use. You don't really know about them, most people probably don't mess with it. But uh, if you ever forget where this video that I just saved, like say you saved the video, you're like, I can't find it, I don't remember what folder it's in. Also up here in the settings, you can go to local path and it says it right there. So you can just copy that, go to that file and all your recordings should be in there. There's also things like hotkeys. I kind of never use the hotkeys. Uh, most of this stuff is you're not really going to use it. It's a little bit of some advanced stuff. But basic, initial page. So resume last page is a really good one. So if you have like a view up or whatever and you close it down, when this is just going to, when you open back up Montevideo Go, it's going to open it back up how you left it. So I usually kind of put that on. Uh, maximum window versus there's full screen that's just something about the camera aspect ratios how they come in and such you know some of them you have to change them from original to expand because they don't fit the full screen that's why mine's on expanding uh, just a little stuff like that show IVS rule these lines that are here on the on the screen I could remove those by just checking that and see apply it and they should go away. Oh, I probably have to hit save. Uh, I'm also in the recording. Oh, you know what? These, these, uh, these settings take effect after you restart. That's why it's not doing anything. But that's just another aspect. And uh, thank you for watching. And that's all I had for the reviewing playback footage and exporting. Thank you.